Hi, I'm Chris Haig, this is the Fiddle Channel. Today we're going to play a tune called Joseph Joseph, also known as Yossel Yossel. standard both in the klezmer repertoire and in the gypsy jazz repertoire. It fits very nicely into both and I'll give you some hints about both uh, styles when we're playing this. Uh, this was a request incidentally for Maria Frack and um, I'm very pleased to be able to show you this tune. It was written by Nelly Kasman and Samuel Steinberg back in 1923 for a Yiddish theatre show in New York and it was made famous by the Andrew sisters in 1938 who also, as you probably know, did by Mia Pistu Shane and uh, the two actually are a very good uh, pairing, th th those two songs. So I'm going to show you the basic tune of the chorus and then we'll have a look at the verse which some people also play. Uh, I've looked at various online versions of this uh, to see what is the favourite key and A minor um, certainly seems to be among gypsy jazz players the favoured key because um, that's a good key for guitar and for violin. If you're doing this with a singer the singer might well choose a more difficult key um, but I would go with this A minor. Uh, D minor would also work. So let's start off um, one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> points about this tune. Um, there's a lot of open string notes, uh, a lot of E's in particular, and some A's and D's. And um, these, are, if you can, try and do them in third position, which gives you a slide and some vibrato. That's so much nicer than me. There's not a lot you can do with that open E. There's various places where you can support the chords if you want, um, particularly when it changes from the A minor to the A7 major. So if you, if you put a C sharp under that A7 chord and hold it and put a D under the F. C under the A minor. And you could put an E under that A minor. So let's try the same thing again uh, with some backing.
this Gypsy Jazz style, then you'll notice that it's got no quavers, and no quavers means no swing. So you've got to break up some of those crotchets. So you might do something like this. So you notice I'm also breaking up the, the long notes, um, doing that kind of phrase, and adding lots of syncopation. So there's endless ways you can mess around with this tune, but if you're going to play the notes as written, then it's never going to swing. So do spend some time working that out. Um, there's lots of places for fills, uh, particularly on the longer notes. So I'll play it once through again and I'll give you some, uh, some of that swinging and some fills. either the um, arpeggios oh, which are pretty easy to find or the um, minor blues scales so on A minor that will be so they're all going to fit in there and you can kind of build your solo around that if you're going to do a solo um, klezmer, you, you're going to want to do some klezmer ornamentation and that mostly involves um, downward glissandos, stuff like that, and the long bendy note. Good. Um, and stop the notes with usually a fourth finger just flicking down on the string but that's not going to work if you're doing that up tempo arpeggios also is going to work and um, double string uh, harmonies will work with the klezmer. So let me give you once through with the chords giving you some kind of klezmer ornamentation.
can see the there is a lot of crossover between the klezmer and the gypsy jazz and um, there is a kind of a subgenre of klezmer swing and this is a, a really good example of that there is also a verse which uh, in gypsy jazz usually doesn't get done unless you have a singer uh, but I'll show you that anyway so uh, it goes <laughs> that there's no repeat that will often be done rubato at the beginning and then not repeated um, as I say you probably only do this if you've got a singer in my humble opinion it's not a great verse and it's not different enough from the chorus if, you, if you're doing an instrumental version I don't think it's worth doing the verse personally um, but a singer is definitely going to want to do that I'll finish with an up-tempo version with once through the verse and twice through the chorus. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.